Hi, welcome to Grace 103.14. Today we are having a good time at the Christmas in July event. We're at the Grace Foundation today, it's Christmas in July. We're celebrating fun activities, a carnival type, bounty rides, outdoor skating, cotton candy, ice cream, Santa Claus, photos. Uh, it may be hot outside, but you know, we're in the holiday spirit. Hello, I'm Marie Quattrochi and I'm here selling my handmade bracelets. I really like Grace, I have a lot of friends here and I um, love them all. And I'm glad to be here today again. I get I started this in back in 2022 just for fun as a hobby and now it's become a whole big business. I use string and beads and uh, make them myself. Yeah. What could you do great about this Santa Claus? You asked me to come here. Yeah. So you want to go with everybody? You want to get a picture with Santa? Me? Yeah, get in. Can I take a picture next to Santa Claus? Of course. Yeah. The participants at Grace always like to have a party, right? So their themes, that we ask about their themes, what they like. Christmas happens to be one of their favorite holidays, so why not bring Christmas to, um, a little Christmas to the Grace Foundation and some smiles on the kids' faces. They get to dress up, you know, put their favorite t-shirt on, um, and enjoy Santa and everything else we have to offer. I like to, um, uh, on Christmas in July, making some fan colors with the ornaments to shake it up, the ornaments, gaming by some bracelets, buying some foods, having buying some popcorn snack or dessert fruits, fruits. Uh, we've seen Santa. I slide a bouncy, bouncy ride. And Jenna wants to let her know she likes no, 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 Santa Claus, and everyone to enjoy and slide. More enthusiastic. Jimmy, she wants sugar too. We are Solar Mart uh, Collections. We do custom shirts, custom sweat sweatshirts. All this is to su support and show Sophia that anything could be done. And we are here to support. We want to say thank you to the Grace Foundation for the opportunity to be here. This is our first uh, shop, or first time we set up. So, thanks for everything. I would buy one. Yeah, don't want to touch the camera. Bye. Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm from Santa Claus. I'm here to sell my bracelets. And that's a wrap for the first... And that's a wrap for our first annual Christmas in July. Make sure you check out the Grace of Dunby website. Go on there, buy one of the wreaths that you could sponsor and or donate for for the tree lighting ceremony on November 30th. Come on out, join us, have some fun. Can't wait to see you during the holidays. Time for a commercial break. Having a party or special event? Order I Can Candles made by participants at Grace Foundation. You can choose the color and scent. To place an order, visit our website, graceofny.org. And now, back to the show. 
Quiet down! I'm trying to watch SpongeBob! Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horse ranch is not an instrument either. I can't hear you! Get it? Elsie, what are you sniffing around for? Twentieth century musical Jumanji experiments the best musical moments of the last hundred years. Elsie, wait for us! The kids entered the nineteen hundreds and nineteen tens while looking for the cat.
Are we in the 1900s right now? Actually, it's the 1900s and 1910s. We're now going to find our cat. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Did you say lots of cat? I did. Yeah. And who are you? The cat police? <laughs> no, Elvie, you don't. Like them. I don't like them. Too little. You so Elsie? Where? She went past the tiger into the Brendan Mills. The Tony Tony's. Well, thank let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Me. Baby, bring me the ball up. They now went to the 1920s Pacific Senior Rain Hall in California. We're in the business of selling candles and soaps, but it wasn't enough. So what else can we do to support um, our community? And the kids got together and decided dog biscuits. It's an easy process, it's all natural. A lot of them have dogs, so a lot of them relate to um, the, the industry. And it's great to support dog res rescues. They feel like they're so involved either making them, baking them, packaging them, selling them, um, and actually giving them to their own pets. Wants to make yes. Oh, he likes the camera. Look, yes. <laughs> doesn't like the close-up. <laughs> so today is our annual pet adoption event, and we know everybody loves pets, but not everybody has one. So today is a wonderful opportunity for them to come, check out the pets. There'll be cats, dogs, and who knows? Maybe somebody will come home with one. We're selling dog biscuits or treats, whatever. Let's call it, and. 
They were made by some members of the Grace Foundation along the staff. I feel great about it because I love animals and just to put it out there is that um, I think Grace doing this is a wonderful opportunity of course because dogs and cats can help people with autism as well. I have a dog named Jasper, he's three years old and I have a cat named Max, he's who knows, eight I think. What do you think? You want another one? You want another one? Yeah, hold it. Oh, the whole thing? Are you kidding? <laughs> Can you share? They're delicious, right? Hi, I'm Lori Ficarra from Di Tommaso Real Estate. I am so happy. Today we had our Di Tommaso annual adoption events, and we had tons of adoptables here from Near and Far Rescue, Pipples and Addicts, and Victory for the Voiceless. We had Richmond County React was here, and they had donated a bunch of donations for us that everybody's gonna come back with, raffle baskets. But one of the best people that we had here, the best organizations, is the Grace Foundation. They came here and they baked biscuits. The participants from the Grace Foundation baked biscuits for the dogs, and we were selling some of those, so it was wonderful. The girl or boy? Girl. You're a stunning girl. girl. I just, just want to say that this um I just know I saw somebody make these treats and they look amazing and I know this probably should be on camera but one of the, um one of our program directors' husband tried it. <laughs> it's those bland but it's for a dog so. <laughs> Hello friends, I'm Dan on the street and I'm here with our new rescue Briar. We got her from our friends at No Paws Left Behind and when you purchase the dog treats from the Grace Foundation, part of the proceeds from every bag goes back to a nonprofit of your choice and an animal rescue of your choice. So you're able to take a look at the website, take a look at our friends for No Paws Left Behind and maybe you will wind up with a new friend too. So for our graceful bites and barks, so barks and bites or whatever it is, you can just do uh, at Grace of NY. You'll find us on Facebook, on our website, and just click the button, buy it, and we'll send it to you. With the help of Laurie Hesterhagen, who's part of Di Tommaso, who is also a, a, a dog advocate, um, she's reaching out to so many different rescues, and if we could actually make a difference, the kids feel that not everybody always has to help Grace, we could actually give back, so that's the way to do it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.